So Duel Links just did a weird thing. For those of you who don't know, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links is Konami's very own gacha simulator with a bonus card game minigame. Duel Links also uses the Speed Duel set of rules, meaning only 3 monster zones and only 3 back row zones. Once Link monsters were introduced to the game, each player added access to one extra monster zone, but Link monsters that pointed down right and down left could not point to two monsters at the same time. This is relevant if you're like playing a, a, a Pendleton deck. And that's pretty much it. Or is it? We're gonna see later. Following its launch in 2016, its card pool has been expanded tremendously. The metagame has evolved from basic beatdown strategies to combo fest deck just like in the real game. Hooray! Among the many cards added to Duel Links was Oja Mandala in August 2018, an anime card that was previously available only in the Dark Force games, but never got printed in the TCG proper. This was the first of many anime-only cards that be added to Duel Links, the most infamous of which is probably Kytroid. Why why they put Kytroid in the game? Why would they do that? Here's the thing though, starting with Armored White Bear, Armored? How do, you, how do you say this word? Starting with White Bear, the OCG started printing and releasing updated versions of those previously anime exclusive cards. For comparison's sake, here's the Tug Force and the Duel Links version of White Bear, and here's the TCG printing. You can see there's a different artwork and a different effect. For all purposes, the OCG and TCG printing of White Bear is the real deal, but Duel Links hasn't updated the card anyway because... I don't know. For the record, a couple of years ago I had a lot of time to waste, so I made a Reddit post comparing all the anime-only versions of cards to their past Duel Links edition real-life printings, and it turns out that most of them, with one exception, were better once they were printed into the real game. My post ended with a plea of sorts to update and errata all of the cards to coincide with their real-life versions. At this point, it's important to mention that Duel Links has a Rattled card before and continues to do so regardless of how they function in the real game. Sometimes it's to nerf a card, like when they reduced Lava Golem's burn damage from 1000 to 500. Sometimes it's to remove mentions of the main phase 2, like I think the first card they did it with and the first Duel Links card to ever be Rattled was Crystal Beast Emerald Tortoise. And sometimes it's to allow a card to function at all, such as the, at time of recording, coming soon, but I think by the time I publish this video, this card will be out, Clifford Genius. But um, instead of doing all that, Konami decided to take Noble Knight's Shields Bearer, a card that was already in Duel Links with its Dark Falls text, and release it again, this time with the TCG text. Okay then, Konami's workaround to avoid potential mayhem was to treat both cards as having the same name, even though they have different effects. Think of it in terms of like Harpy Ladies 1, 2 and 3 always being treated as Harpy Lady for deck building purposes. But also, each version is able to ignore the other hard ones per turn effect, so like the new TCG printing says you can only activate the effect of Noble Knight's Shields Bearer once per turn, but this doesn't apply to the old Noble Knight Shields Bearer, because the effects are different. Yeah, this was clearly much simpler and much less confusing than just updating the card. And while this isn't obviously the most game-breaking card out there, it does set a precedent for Konami potentially re-releasing anime cards that got a TCG printing. In short, there's gonna be two versions of the same card, uh, with one usually being better than the other. Thank you for watching this short video, hope you enjoyed it. I, I really wanted to talk about this because this has been blowing my mind how poorly thought out this was from Konami's part. Hope you enjoyed this, if you did, make sure to leave a comment, like the video, share it with your friends and enemies, and I'll see you guys and gals and non-binary pals next time.